It's time for race gaming moments. As a little red crab once said, darling it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. And with this week's game it seems that he may have been right. Abzu was an underwater exploration game created by the developers Giant Squid Studios, who were founded by Matt Narva, the art director of the games Flower and Journey. The title, Abzu, translated literally from the ancient words ab, meaning ocean, and zu, meaning to know. It was all about a scuba diver's underwater adventure. From the moment that you picked up the controller and felt the tight, flowy swimming controls, you felt like you were actually right there deep down at the bottom of the ocean, in your own little stress-free world. There were no clear objectives given here, it was like the game always let you be free to do your own exploring, from finding the hidden shells, to unlocking local wildlife. And if you've always had a dream of swimming with dolphins, then now is your chance. It was like a simulator. You did things exactly as if you were actually there. You see a turtle, you want to ride it. You see a massive shoal of thousands of fish, you want to swim in it. There were high speed sections where you got swept along with the current, in which you could swim into little collections of fish, lighting them up and getting them to join you. There was no purpose to this, but it was a sort of playful thing you would probably actually try and do in this kind of situation. There were the slower moments too, and even opportunities to take a break and do a bit of meditation on a statue. Here, you would pan around and get to watch all the different species of fish as they swam, and there was even a circle of life thing going on, where a full food chain existed. The game was linear, to progress to the next area usually involved some kind of extremely simple puzzle solving. In fact, calling them puzzles isn't really accurate, it was more like just turn a handle or find a little robot to help you cut down a blocked hole. Eventually a plot did start to form in Abzu, as things slowly turned from playful antics into the exploration of an ancient civilization. It was like stumbling upon Atlantis, as the mood slowly took a darker turn, but kept you intrigued as to what you'll come across next. Still, it was never made completely clear as to what exactly was going on here. It was a kind of game that left things open to interpretation, and made more sense on the second playthrough once you had a better idea of what you were looking for. The graphics were simple but colourful, and made it a place that you wanted to be. As the different shades of blue slowly got darker, you actually felt like the water was getting colder. But the clear standout in the presentation department was the music. Returning as a music composer from Journey, Austin Wintori once again did a fantastic job, orchestrating a truly beautiful score that rose and faded away in the perfect timing to the events that were going on in the game. It was like an interactive musical. Abzu was a great three hour experience that fans of this type of game should definitely check out, it came with a great sense of adventure and played about with your emotions in very simple yet effective ways. It's hard to explain why, but when something happened to one of your fish or robot friends, you felt bad. When a bunch of humans are killed in an FPS, who gives a shit? But when something happens to your mute little robots, somehow it makes you feel sad. It provided a setting that felt uniquely alive, with ample opportunity to explore and play about with. Check it out. If you enjoyed this video then click here to subscribe to A's Gaming Moments and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.